Hello, I'm back again to the second part of my tutorial about using the OC protocol with Bitwig Studio. And today we want to look at the new kit on the block for OC clients, which is called Open Stage Control. And you can get it here under this address and download it here. So the current version I'm using is that one. It looks pretty early because O dot something, but it's already very, very sophisticated and in my opinion, much better than all the apps you can currently get for money. And this one does not even cost money. It's completely free and open source and you can get it for, for Linux, for OS X and also for Windows but you can also use it on all your mobile devices. How that works, I will explain later. So if you have downloaded the software and in the last tutorial, I showed you how to configure uh, OC for Bitwig and now you can use uh, open stage control with Bitwig. So what I explained before is that we need to use that port 8000. So you need to enter something in the first line, which is just localhost because I run it on the same computer here. So with 8000, the data I enter here into the client will be sent to Bitwig Studio and also this port 9000 on which we will receive information coming from Bitwig needs to be input here. So these are basically the only two settings you need to do to keep that running. You don't have to enable a debug. This just locks all the communication to a console which appears here, but we don't need to use that and it also costs some performance. So if you just want to use the software, turn that off. Okay, you can save your settings as well here and you can then, if you're done, say start. What then happens is now very interesting because you don't have to use that window, which is nothing else than a normal internet browser, but without the controls. So you can access now this server from any browser you have. So you can use a browser running on your Apple device or on an Android device, whatever you have. The developer suggests to use the Chrome browser because it's the only one currently supported, but they also so tested it with, with Firefox and besides some smaller graphical issues, it's also working nicely. And how you can access that is written down here after you have started the application. So depending on your network you have, you have several options to access the interface via your browser. So for example, let's take the simplest one here, the local host one. And if I open my, my Firefox browser here and go to that address, you will see also here starts up that interface. So this is the same interface as that one. So you can access it from anywhere you have a network connection to your host computer. If you open it up, you see here I have already some selections. It comes with some examples which you can check, use to check out and have get an impression of the open stage control. But with uh, Driven by Moss, I deliver also a template which I created specifically for Bitwig. You can find that here as I showed in a previous tutorial here in that OSC directory and it's called open stage control for bitwig.json. And you can pick that if you click here and then open it or it remembers the, uh, your last loaded template. So I just click on that and this file gets opened. And then you get the interface. Let's make that a little bit bigger. I try to put everything in there I can think of uh, currently for a mixer and a device interface. So if you have a smaller mobile device, you can just remove stuff. So they have only the widgets and the interface you want to use, but I wanted to put as much as possible in there. So you basically can choose from what elements you want to use. And in a later tutorial, I show you how you can also use an editor to modify these things. And something to note is if you start 
the open stage control interface here after you have started Bitwig Studio, you need to sync up the project so it knows what's going on because a Bitwig Studio sends only out the data which changes to save on resources. And that's why that button here on the upper right is good for. So if you press that one, it will sync all the data with Bitwig Studio. So you will see here, uh, we have here only one track in our project. Uh, currently I cannot hide the other ones if they don't exist so that's a little bit of a downside but I'm pretty positive that there will also be some support in the future for that. Starting on the upper part we have two tabs as I already said we have a mixer view and we have a device editing view and the mixer view you see the project so if we have more than one project we can do that load another project here uh, in Bitwig maybe let's just go here and open a test project so you would see it would automatically update all the interface because now it's already running and talking to Bitwig and here with these buttons you can switch between the different projects we have loaded currently so we have these two projects and can toggle through them. What we also have here, this is an undo redo feature. Here you can turn on the audio engine for that project so you see it's currently off and now it gets turned on. So we have now this project active. Below that, we have the navigation bar. You can go to the beginning of the project, start the playback, stop it, repeat. So the usual stuff you have here. Uh, you can also have your write override, automation features, also for the clips. You get here a few if you play of the time we are and also see that with your measures and bars where you are punch in punch out uh, this is for tapping the tempo so we can change the tempo as you see the tempo will change by doing that you also see you can also enter this here if you want and here you also see your current numerator and denumerator going here you see tracks you can change the volume panorama we have the monitoring functions auto monitoring record enablement for that track solo mute the usual stuff here your crossfader setting and the name of the track and one drawback is that you cannot make these things clickable or these things so we need a specific button for that and that's why there is here a select button the missing button is that you can go into a group so groups are fully supported as well here in the user interface but i currently Currently cannot remove a button uh, if it's not a group so I have these buttons everywhere but on a normal track it just does nothing but here we have a group so if you go to that group you can enter that group and see then the tracks which are inside of that group and if you want to go up again you can use that button here on a master channel click that button and go up again what else do we have if you have more than eight tracks you can move here to the next uh, page of the bank with the tracks but we only have maybe let's add some tracks but we can also add that here so here we can also add an instrument track another one some audio tracks and an effect track and now we have multiple tracks yeah so now you can see that this is working as well and as i showed now also is if you use that button you can add uh, multiple new tracks and here you close that one again um, what else do we have we have the sense up here uh, you can change it directly here but there's also a more touch ported interface so you can change it here very nicely those eight cents for that track on the very right we have the master track so we have the master volume also the panorama this is also for switching between the track banks so these are the same buttons than these here and you have a solo mute and you have your your main crossfader for going right or left you can also double click here and you can also select the master fader and this one toggles between the instrument and audio tracks and your effect tracks so much for the mixer page the device page is very interesting you can <laughs> put a lot of stuff on that one so on the button you see here the same track view as here with the mixer so the lower part is the same so you can first select your track and on that track you will see all the plugins you have on the track i only have a policy in here 
but we can also add here new devices. So now we have here the full browser. Um, that's also a limitation. I cannot click these directly. So currently the workaround is that you have to use that buttons, which is not so nice, but I'm also hoping for an improvement in that one in the future, but it's working. Uh, and for example, I want to use a chorus here. I can click on okay. And here's currently another problem that I need to close it specifically but that's only a little drawback so you see now we have the chorus here as well and on the top you see the parameters and you can change the parameters of this chorus device and if i go back to the policy and you can also see if you have more than eight uh, banks for of parameters you can also navigate between that so i can directly also select here the parameters of the polos policy in here change them change here and go that so from that view they have the full access to all possible devices you have in your current project and the master track is here still available as a copy so it's also the same there are also three buttons up here so you can turn on and off uh, the currently selected device you can also open up the window you see in the background this is working as well this one extends the the plugin so you can do that as well from here if you want to do so this is available here in the navigation bar and opens up also to some more features so you can enable the metronome here the metronome's volume enable the playing of ticks having the pre-roll setting the automation write mode different layouts which you can switch between so this is the arrange layout you can switch to the mix and the edit layout and you have also the possibilities to hide different parts of the bitwig interface also here for the mixer and the arrange view so but now i think we showed everything in that template for open stage control which i think is already very very powerful and i'm pretty sure there's more to come in the future and i will do another tutorial about how to use open stage control the editor especially of open stage control and do your own templates until then stay tuned and make some funky music <laughs>